Okay, so we've got an energy crisis in Australia. There's no escaping that. The, the transitions to re, transition to renewables is going terribly, of course, because we we got a, a shortage of energy at times, and also our electricity is much more expensive than it's ever been. And and so governments are trying to deal with this. The federal government's going to be handing out more money in the federal budget this week to sort of compensate people for the higher power prices they're having to deal with. So everyone knows uh, the push is on to decarbonise. Now, nuclear does that, but can nuclear energy do that in a cost-effective way? Can it actually keep our energy prices lower or get them lower than they have been while also reducing those emissions? So the economics of nuclear are often the issue that people have. And I'll be honest with you, the upfront capital costs of nuclear are high. But the operating costs long term and the cost of fuel are so low that you reap the benefits of a nuclear system um, over the lifetime of its power supply. And there are examples, a great example recently out of Finland, whose uh, power plant program went over time over budget, but they're now actually getting the benefits economically from operating that power plant and the cost of energy does come down. It's just we want to save money right now, right here, right now. Nuclear is a long-term game and it's about how do we do this over 50, 60, 70 years, not over five years. Well, that's the big uh, that, that's the big challenge, isn't it? Politicians only think in sort of two or three year terms, and uh, investors maybe uh, you know ten years, fifteen years. But th this is a decision where you, if you build plants, they will last seventy five to eighty years without having to be replaced. In that period, renewable kit has to be replaced two or three times. Yeah, that's right. And that's what a lot of this discussion today has been centred around. It is what is the long term plan with nuclear? How have countries that currently have nuclear power programs benefited from that? And so we can see both the carbon emission reduction, but as, long, as well the economic benefits of long term nuclear investment uh, and not short term, short sighted investments in energy systems. All right, good stuff. Uh, glad to hear the discussion is ongoing. Thanks so much for joining us, Jasmine. Thank you so much.